Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negolescu and today I will present you new features for the Salesforce Activity Extension Pack from UAPath Go. Yeah? So, download the, um, the latest version of the Activity Pack. In UAPath Studio, you will go here on the Manage Package, you write Salesforce and you have the... Um, uh, you have the this one, uh, the UAPath Team Salesforce Activity Package. You install this one and uh, you will have the new feature. After you install it, under UAPath Team Salesforce Extension Package, you will see around 110 activities for Salesforce. And today I will present you what is new. So first it's call Apex function, yeah? So you drag and drop this call Apex function. What's the idea? So inside of Salesforce, you can have different uh, functions, different scripts, basically. And you can call via REST API these scripts and you can give these parameters. So let's say that your Salesforce admin develop a lot of scripts there and you need to call stuff to be able to, uh, um, to do some internal procedures. So we can call and you can give these parameters. Let's understand how it works. Yeah? So first, you connect to the system, you test the connection. Okay, good. And then you will go to this one. And on the call um, uh, Apex function, you will be able to, so you will hit load and the system will load all the, uh, all the functions that you have, yeah? So you can go here, select the function, and then you will send a message to this function. So if you take a look here, there are three types of message. You can have the post, a get, and head. Yeah. So on some functions, you need to send the JSON. Yeah. So you need to send the parameters. If you don't have a parameter, you just put an empty JSON and he will accept it. Yeah. So here, for example, on the example from Salesforce, they have this function inside and you need to provide him a list of parameters. And if you provide an input like this, the system will be able to understand these parameters and execute your function. So that's the idea. You are able to call from UAPath Studio different Apex function that you have on your Salesforce in instance. And the UAPath Studio was able to fill these functions. Now, there is also some other new features. You saw that, um, so I have here dedicated stuff for users because a lot of person, they are able to they are admins and have to work with users. So I decided to create an activity especially for users. Now, uh, on all the getting data, you have this waiting um, time, wait, waiting window that analyze, get the data. Here I put test data because I don't want to show you the data from my, uh, my system. You have mandatory parameters, depends on your system. You can add users, you can delete users, you can uh, get the users, you can reset the password for user. So you just give him the user ID or the, sorry, you just give him the user ID or the, um, um, or the username. And um, basically you have, um, he will be able to reset the password or he will be able to deactivate the user if you want to deactivate a user again. If you want to get the user, you will have a dedicated SQL, you write it here and you'll get all your data. Okay, so they are dedicated uh, um, functions for users. And remember, this is very important, this call Apex function. So, um, remember to follow me on the YouTube. Here you have a lot of videos about Salesforce. There are 20, 25 videos about uh, Salesforce, how to work with Salesforce activities, and also for service now, like Zendesk and so on. And contact me on the marketplace or the LinkedIn and so on, and tell me what else you want inside of the Salesforce connector. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good one. Stay safe.